Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning back in and today we're going to look at a tool called Moloch and this tool is an interesting tool. It's, it's a Linux based open source package that actually uh, utilizes Elasticsearch and will allow you to index multiple PCAP files, right? So if you're like me, uh, you're, you've at least got one or two hard drives full of trace files that you've accumulated or if you're you know, working in an enterprise uh, business, you may have a, a problem you've been troubleshooting for a week or so and, and have accumulated uh, massive amounts of PCAP files. And so what do you do with those, especially if you want to collaborate? Well, one of the really cool things about Molik is it allows you to take that PCAP information and insert that into an elastic database and then launch a web browser to that to make a bunch of different queries to that so that uh, you can start using it for, for a multitude of, of issues, for troubleshooting, for post filtering of those capture files. So let's say, for example, you're troubleshooting a, a specific server and you want to see all of that traffic across your directory of PCAP files uh, just for that specific IP address. You can do that with, with Moloch. Uh, one of the other things I use it quite a bit for is for uh, doing dependency maps when we're looking at applications and, and what different tiers are involved. It allows you to quickly build the dependency map of those applications so that you can get all the right tiers into the, the packet capture that you want to analyze. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into this. And so if I, if I come in here, uh, basically point to the, the, the Linux server um, and type in the, the username and password that you want to use and then you're presented with this dashboard so one of the uh, the really cool things I can do is I can come in for example and say you know show me the traffic for the last hour show me the traffic for the last week for the last month etc um, the way that I've got this set up here for this presentation is I've got a, a Ubuntu VM running on my my laptop that I've uploaded a bunch of trace files to, and uh, I'm just accessing this, accessing this off my Chrome browser. So, for example, if we wanted to see the the trace files that I've got uh, loaded into the database here, you can see I've got you know quite a few PCAPs in here. What 39 trace files loaded up into into this. Uh, the other really cool thing too is this can be used as a capture device, right? So you can actually uh, have these different Linux instances across your network collecting writing packets out to disk and then sending the data up to your your main server for indexing so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna pop back over to the uh, the main tab and I'm gonna ask it to show me the the data for the last month and so what it's doing is going through and it's it's putting a timeline out here of where the, the specific number of sessions were, packets, or data. And it's, it's very intuitive, right? So if I, I see this spike here, I can zoom into that spike in time and see what traffic, what sessions we had in this case were open during that, that time period. And then as I see these, I can, I can also come in and drill in to each one of these sessions, right? So you can see a bunch of information about uh, uh, what was going on in this specific session, source port, destination port, IP address, MAC address, um, as well as kind of a breakdown of the actual traffic to and from, from source and destination. So you can see here a nice, uh, uh, a nice little hex dump. And you can also see what trace file this was found in. Right, so you can see here this was from home.pcap. So one of the things you can do that's that's really cool is, for example, if I wanted to see all traffic uh, to and from this source IP port, this 20.0.0.100, I can simply click on that and say, and that, and you can see it puts a, a Wireshark-like display filter up here. I hit search, and what that's going to do is it's going to filter through, again, all those sessions during that time period where this machine was talking. 
And one of the things that I have you note is how quick this thing is, right? So it, it comes back really, really fast. Um, and as I kind of just scroll down through this, you can see, you know, here's a, a machine on my home network that was watching a Netflix video. And uh, again, if I wanted to, I can drill into this, get more information uh, about this uh, specific session. I can also come in uh, and, and pull back the packet trace and have that filtered for me uh, for just this specific session. Right? So I can come in and say, download the segment PCAP, click on that, and boom, that trace file is already back on my laptop. So as you can see, this would be extremely useful for organizations where you have uh, you know, maybe a performance engineering team or, or multiple engineers that are working on the same problem a great place to warehouse your PCAP files so that everybody can work on that uh, without having to, to email or have a, a file share out there and wonder what capture file a specific problem was in. You simply open up a browser, attach out to that server, and then uh, go from there. Uh, the other piece that I was talking about earlier was uh, the ability to do some uh, dependency mapping. So, for example, here I can I can see that I'm you know query size of 100, but it's looking at all the workstations that uh, we're we're talking right. And as I mouse over, it gives me some information about each one of those different systems. Right now, I'm looking at source IP address and destination IP address. I can also come in here and and type in uh, a multitude of things. You can see as I kind of uh, delete backspace through here. There's a bunch of different uh, capabilities I can show for the specific graph. So for example, if I wanted to do uh, IP destination plus port, simply click on that and now you can see that same graph but now it's going to show me all the different ports and different sessions that it was talking to. So here I've got uh, all this traffic uh, to and from these different machines. Um, the other thing I can do as well is I can click on any one of these and also you can see it pops up so I can do an and or an or to keep building that filter and kind of use that what I call the peeling the onion workflow to get to just that specific data that you'd like to see. Um, if you'd like to see more videos on uh, uses for MOLAC, please uh, comment down below. Uh, but again, wanted to keep this video short. Thanks for tuning in and uh, if you have any questions on this, feel free to shoot me an email at mike at microseconds matter .com. Thanks very much and catch you next time.